Now, listen, That's listen why, to me why, now. Sir. Sorry, but bro, why do you think I wanted to squash things? Can I just I don't dispute that. I didn't that. want him to I be hurt. I don't dispute that, but until you told me that just yeah. now, I wasn't even aware that you knew. I knew. That, yeah? I knew. Yes, I'm knew. just telling you. Until 20 seconds ago. I never ago, heard you. I, I didn't know, know that you know. Well, well hold on a second. I, I am telling you. you know. I am no. telling you. I didn't know that you know. Well, sir. Until you just said no, it. no, imagine that. Yeah. You didn't know that I know. Yeah. Yet I heard from his Sunni Muslim brother. Yes. Yeah. You understand? Who phoned me and told me to make sure Saar don't come down well, because they're going to. all the Muslims in a parking synchronicity. No, no, I accept that. Yeah, that, that, that goes without saying. But that's not the point that I'm making. But the point is, even though they're not in synchronicity, Sarah heard that, he heard that, I heard that. He wasn't aware that I knew that he knew, and he wasn't aware that I knew. Anything, anything in general. Uh, yeah, and we're just continuing the tradition. Sorry, I need to catch this right now. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. But, but, what was said, what was said, look at, look at your response. Look at what you said. You are a liar, and that's the reason why I find it difficult to talk to you. Because, because, I don't, I don't accept your apology, I don't believe it was, I don't have any sincere. Let me, let me, let me. I'm not sincere. 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 I'm not sincere.
You know why I don't go up to them? No, 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 not because of that. Not because of that. No, not because of that. Because there's certain people that I don't want to listen to. So I don't go anywhere near them. You don't like to listen at all. You don't like to listen. That's the problem. I'll be honest with you. You don't like that you think that's true? Let me say one point. How many arguments have you seen me having here? Let, let me just say one last thing here yeah, before you before your brethren comes in. Let me just ask you one thing. Work this out for yourself. Have you have you heard of you watched me speak to Ali Dawa? Have you heard me speak to Shabir? You have, yeah. You heard me speak to Hamza? Just yes, to him one thing. I heard you speak. Yeah, hold a second, hold a second, hold a second. The truth is, is that when I had the discussion with Ali Dawa, the discussion wasn't what you saw on the video. The discussion was the discussion that we had for about 40, 50 minutes prior to that, where he made some points. The only reason we went on video was because he wanted to answer those points because I refused to go on the video and then I said, all right, let's go on the, let's put it on the video, you understand? Which means that he had his point. I don't agree with him. Where was the arguments? The problem is this one, is that you have a thing in your mind and we are racist. I think, that, I think that most of the there Muslims are racist. There you go. This is why this is why I'm not amongst you. Right. This is why I think regular are racist. So let me tell you this. You cannot tell me that my experience. No, no, no. No, no, I will shut up in a minute. Yeah? Hold on. You've just made a statement. I'm telling you, you can't negate my experience. You can't negate my experience. If I say to you that most of the Muslims that I've come up against are racist, what you can say, in fact, no, I can't tell you what to say because you're a you're a grown man. But let me tell you what most people would say is, is that your experience? And I'd say, yes, that's my experience. Then you can tell me Could what you is your belief. Could you experience your own then? No. You can't be wrong. No. Can I say something now, please? I mean, uh, let, me, let me say something. I want to I put some perspective on this, please. Yes but of no. course it is. Yes or no. So you but of course wrong. it is. So you could be wrong. No, no, you yeah? can't because you what? Can't be wrong, isn't it? Listen to me. Have Listen. you, Mike, you, you, you know me. Have you ever Thank thought you about I was being racist towards you? Have you no, no, no. I'm not speaking about that. Very. Have you ever thought I was being racist towards you? No, you did in this situation. Oh, honestly, no, 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 no. But be listen, fair, be fair, listen, listen, be fair. Be fair. Be fair. Listen, me yeah? like, you ain't got an issue. No, no, so, be fair. Have you ever thought I was being racist towards you? No, 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 I thought you were being racist towards me. It's got nothing to do with it. You're wrong. But what I can tell you, this is my experience, yeah, and with the words, with the words, hold on a second, hold on a second. Like most men, like most men, you understand, I think that most proper men are vengeful, yeah? Most men are, I just said to you, most men, most men, most men are vengeful. Well, well, let me tell you this, whatever I choose, whatever I choose, whatever I choose, whatever I choose to speak out my mouth, you're not my daddy. You understand? You don't. I didn't. I didn't elect you to police what comes out of my mouth. Whatever comes out of my mouth is my choice. But of course you do. Yeah. But what you don't have a right to do is to tell me that X, Y, Z is going to happen. Yes, you do. Star. 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 You're a liar. I tell you to your face. You're a liar. But I'm telling you to your face, you're a liar. Because that's not what you said. What you said. I said. I said that if I hear that. What do you mean, if you're here? You're my daddy. Let me finish. If you're here. Let me finish, please. I said, if I hear sorrow or something, we're talking about it, I will be in their place. Yeah. That's not what you said. Now, that can be interpreted what you said, the way you, you want. Said, what you said. I didn't mean I was going to be said, violent towards what you. you. That's exactly I, what you no, meant. No, you're no, a, listen, no, let me tell you. You said you, you said, destroy us. You said, that's you said, you said let that's me tell you this. Let me tell you this. And let me tell you. If you have any honesty in you, if you have any honesty in you, and you left Takia to one side, if you left it to one side, if you left it to one side, isn't that funny that when you speak about we Muslims, you always pluralize it. When I mentioned Takia, it's got nothing to do with them. To you, it's got to do with them. Listen, listen, listen. No, of course I don't know. I don't know anything about Islam. You understand? Let me just make this point out to you. You said to me, yeah, you said on the thing that when I come up in your face, yeah, let me tell you now, it's not going to be like the first time. You understand? This is what you said, yeah, online. To me, that's a direct threat. You understand? So if it's a direct threat, I'm going to respond to that direct threat. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Isn't it funny that Muslims have the greatest book in the world, and you're very clear in what you're saying, but everything now, you have to give the meaning. You're not listening to me. Would you like to hear what I meant by that? Yeah, let me hear what you meant by it. I simply meant from the first time when I first came up to you, 
must have been harsh. Nevertheless, it must be strong. There was no violence, no There was no violence, no violence. It was a bit kind of hard. It was a little bit harsh, but it was just normal discussion. Nothing more than that. When I said Keep it from who? You or me? You and me. That's be, be truthful now. In the first instance. In the, in the first instance, who was it, who was it from? Did you approach me? Yeah. Did you approach me? I do. I said, let's go. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. And the conversation can carry on. Sir, was it you? I'd like to see you try. That would, that, that would be interesting. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Yeah, I know. I'd like to see that. You can fight. I'd like to see that. I never underestimate anyone. No, never should you. I don't underestimate anyone. I told you. I told you before. Nobody is Superman. Yeah, tell you that already. Yeah. That I think for a second yeah. that you can't handle this. Mm. I know you can. No. Okay? It's got nothing to do Anyone with that. I don't fists. want to talk about the fist. I, I want to talk about this. But you don't want to bring it down to the fist. I want to bring it down what to this. Me and Sarah. I'm married to Sarah. Am I married to Sarah? What do you mean, me and Sarah? I defend Sarah. No, no. You, no, 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 no. All right. I'm going to now tell you what was said. Yeah. You speak first. I'm going to be quiet, and then I'm going to tell you what I said. You carry on speaking, but I'm going to tell you what I said. Yeah. Cool, Gary. Yeah. Say what you're going to say, and then I'm going to tell you what was said. You are the best. I'm crazy about everything you have. I know it's because I'm manning you. I personally don't know what's happening. I haven't heard everything that's happening. I haven't heard everything that's happening. I haven't heard everything The reason why recently it has been is the reason why it's been holding you in this camp. And the reason why I can see that you never, I said it myself, you never want to say it on the camera, but you wrote me stuff like this on the phone. I was just never said that. I never lied against you because you have insulted. I know you have insulted myself. You've never done that. I know. That's why I'm thinking you don't want to insult that. And the reason why you, out of your own words, defended him was because he's a guy. That's what he said. So I'm thinking, hey, man, you know, you've been a racism towards me. Why is your bias? Because someone is black, you defend him, even though he's wrong. If a Muslim do something right, I don't want to do it. The Quran says, be just even if against yourself. We are for justice, you should be just. If you say something wrong, we say no. He will speak. So I said, by you standards on the column. Remember last time I said, you standards on the column, is it the old subjective experience or is it the law of the land? If it's the law of the land, no problem. I accept that. Because the law says, you can say it as one. As long as it's not racially, defamation, or violence. But the problem is this. The same, a couple of decades, decades ago, you can say the end word, claim it. That's why the law changed, because brothers like yourself make all parties fought for their rights. Yes or no? You all parties fought for your rights. So today, if I say the N word, I could be arrested. What right. so? So we, from, we must have to start from somewhere, we must have to start from somewhere to get those rights. And if we don't say to you, what do you expect? Please don't say anything about Muhammad. You can tell them, but you yourself, it's a debate. You try to make Muhammad seem as a suicidal person, and he's a suicidal. Yeah? That's, that's your view. But we can debate that. The view of Bukhari. That's fine, that's not Bukhari. Yeah. 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 So we come with you. Well, I knew you were going to say that. Right, if you finish your point, so... so, so so the thing is, you're a man, you're old man, you're respected, you're wise, you're so you've been through a lot, you don't see things in your life, you should be wise enough. Right, let me just say this to you. Right, now that you made your point, I'm going to make my point. Since I've come down here, I've not had an argument or a fight with anybody. Since I've come down here, I've not, not one time, threatened anybody or got involved in any physical confrontation with anybody. I said, I made clear, she don't know who I am, I know who I am. I've made clear there's a reason why I come down here and I only come with one or two people. Yeah, because of who I am, because of who I know, and if I come down with a lot of people, they're going to say, oh, look at him, because he's vegan, he knows blah, blah, blah. So I deliberately do not come down here with people. You 
made a point, you said that I defended Sarah because he was black. Not only is that a lie, yeah, I'm going to give a context. Because you see, if you tell a story and you only tell a part of the story when you're aware of what the whole story is, then that can only, a lie by omission is a lie by commission. And I'll explain to you what I mean. When we were speaking about Sarah, and you were speaking about Sarah, I said to you that I have, and I said to Ali Dawa, I have a great respect for the traditions of Hyde Park, which is why I'm not in the war thing when I come to Hyde Park. Yeah, I'm in the speaking thing and the intellectual thing. Yeah, there are certain Muslims down here that I like speaking to, there are others that I wouldn't give the time of day. When we spoke about Saran, you said that I defended him because he was black. Give context. This is what I said. And I can remember verbatim what I said. This is what I said. I said that Sarah yeah, and I speak differently. Anybody here who's heard it, I want you to be very clear about what I said. I said, Sarah and I speak differently. He has his way of speaking. I have my way of speaking. When Ali Dawah said to me, and I'll quote him word for word, he said, Big bro, but you don't speak like that. And I said, the reason I don't speak like that, this is word for word now, is because that doesn't work for me. If I'm going to be speaking to somebody, it's because I want something back from them in terms of debate. And I understand that if I use particular words that will push people back from me, in the first instance, then I won't get anything back. I said, would I use those words? No, I wouldn't. But I recognise that Sarah is a grown man, and this is Hyde Park, and this is free speech. If I do not agree with Sarah, you understand, then I won't stand up and listen to him. This is the point I was making. When the colour thing was brought up, this is how it was brought up. I said that Sarah's parents and my parents come from the same place. There was a shared experience in terms of what our parents have gone through, of what my brothers, yeah, my proper blood brothers have gone through, what my family has gone through. Based on those shared experiences, this is what I said, I am not prepared to throw Sarah under the bus because he may have said something that other people may have disliked. And then this is what I said. This is what I said, word for word. I said, don't you believe, this is what I said, yeah, because you're mentioning the black and I'm going to give you context. I said, don't you believe that if our brother speaks out what we may consider out of line, don't you think that we would go and have a conversation with our brother? Then the little fat Muslim brother, um, black brother said, no, we don't believe it. I said, well, I don't care what you believe. You understand? Because either what I'm saying is true or it's not. I said, don't you think that we would go and have a conversation with our brother, bearing in mind that this is speaker's corner and this is not fighter's corner. That's the context. So when I said that I, I support um, Sarah, I said that we as a people have shared experiences. You understand? It's like, for example, if you come from Syria, yeah, and you and your brothers in Syria are fighting against, for example, Assad's forces and you both now end up in London, and you go somewhere and there is a problem. Do you then turn your back on your brother because he said something that, that, that somehow somebody else may not dislike? No, what you do, what you do, you say to him, yeah, as I said, in private, where it's a conversation, hey, I'm not certain that that's kind of productive. This is what I said. So when I mentioned the black brother thing, it was in that context that I said it. So you see how it's different? If you just come up and say, I'm going to defend him because he's black, do you understand? That is not the case. I said to you that we, as a people, have a shared experience. Just like there are black people now who are Muslims, do you understand that they will say that they have a shared experience with other Muslims. Does that mean you agree with every Muslim that you see? Of course you don't. Do you understand? And so similarly, in my position, do you understand, I'm saying that as far as I'm concerned, it could be anybody, it could be, could be Muslim, I don't care whether it's Shia, whether it's Sunni, whether it's Hanafi, I don't care, whatever it is. If they have a point at the park that they wish to make, and you don't like it, then turn around and leave them. Because I mentioned to Ali Dawa that we've been here for, not we, but like collectively, Hyde Park has been here 150 years and has seen many esteemed speakers. And everybody here, everybody here should have a respect for Hyde Park. It doesn't mean 
Yeah, it doesn't mean, it, and, and by the way, very quickly, the God that you say you worship, I don't believe he's as capricious as some of his followers. You understand? That he would be so hurt. You understand? That people say X, Y, Z. I just genuinely don't believe that. You understand? I believe, I told you, I don't believe in the weight of this. I told you I believe in the weight of a superior argument. You came up to me the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me, just give me one more minute. You came up to me. Let me just go on with that race stuff. You came up to me and you said to me that I'm a black supremacist. And I thought, I don't know where you get your information from because I've made clear I don't believe in black supremacy and I don't believe in white supremacy. The only supremacy I believe in, and I said this to you, I believe in the supremacy, yeah, of a cogent argument. Meaning, I don't care what colour you are, if you have a great argument, you understand, then I support you, you understand, that's got nothing to do with colour, that's got to do with the supremacy of what I believe is a cogent argument. So the black thing that you mentioned, whilst it was partly true, it was not fully true, you understand, you should take that back. So you said that you don't defend him because he's a black brother, but because you shared ancestry, right? No. Look, this is what I said. Yeah, yeah, but it's not just experiences. No, because I've already made clear. I've already made clear. I've already made clear that I said, I said on camera, and if you know what I said, I looked at the camera and I said that I am not, I am not a hypocrite. You understand? And I will not say that I support something, you understand, just for the hell of it. You understand? And I said that we speak to our brother, yeah, we speak to our brother, yeah, privately. This is what we do. However, if you're going to take that to mean, yeah, yeah, just give me 10 seconds, please. If you're going to take that to mean that, okay, he said that, you understand, and because he has his opinion now, there are going to be people who want to harm him, and I'm going to stand up there and allow that to happen, I can't allow that to happen. And that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that I'm in support of what he says. I'm, support, I'm in support of the idea of free speech. I and everyone here, we don't want to come We don't want this That's not how it came over. We don't, we don't want this to come over. That's not how it came over. Regardless of the system, I'm not someone that goes around bullying people. I don't. But the reality is, with you, is that if you find someone, the rest of you The problem is, you say you're for free speech. I am for free speech. Would you defend Farah if what he said was against the law? Would you defend him? Look, let me just say this to you. Please, please, please. I'm going to answer it. It's a very simple question. I've made clear. Because, yeah. because well, I'm going to answer it for you. The point I'm getting Five seconds will take me to answer. Where the law is concerned, yeah, the law reigns supreme, whether you don't look, whether you like it or not. And I'm a supporter of the law. I hope that answers your question. Well, I'm just saying to you, I'm a supporter of the law. The law says, technically, what someone is saying. It's not against the law. We agree. It's not against the law. You can slander the doctor as much as you like. Nothing will happen. But the thing is this. Do you know what slander is? No, but I'm saying like defame or whatever you call it. Okay, okay. The thing is this. You can't slander someone who's dead. No. Okay. Defamation. 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 The thing is this. As Muslims, if we want to bring a change in this country, where we are included in certain laws, like the Simpsons laws, the Commission laws, should oh, we not how are you stop somewhere? Should we not go the last time? Are you reading it correctly? Unless oh, we do that, we might be able to change. So this is part of our struggle with it. But yeah, yeah, but nobody's disputing that, but that's an argument for Parliament. Yeah? That's an argument for Parliament. No, 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 that's not how it works. That's not how it works. How it works is... Brother, 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 hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. Yes, it may well start grassroots level, but it's the MPs, yeah, it's the letter writing campaigns, and so on and so forth, that you do it. But you have to be very careful, you have to be very careful, because you see, there's many Muslims now who take the position that even if you quote, I can stand here for the next two hours and only quote the Quran and Hadith. I'm not a Hafiz, you understand, but my memory is not the worst in the world. And I can quote, yeah, I can quote Hadith, you understand, and I can quote the Quran. And how I can put these words will show Muhammad in a light, in a light which is not brilliant.